Hey y'all and good now, whenever and wherever this finds you. Yesterday I felt compelled out of appreciation to do a video about Brian and the American Union and the work that he's doing with the Blueprint for a Better America. And in the process I realized that he's a visionary and he is on the cutting edge of making unconditional love a reality of the universe. You know, he's doing the 21-day fast, or he does a live stream every day at 4 o'clock my time, 7 o'clock Eastern. So I'm cutting time stamps for him. And I'm listening to rock and roll, and I'm texting back and forth with my friend Jennifer on Discord. I ask her a stupid question, and her daughter is is transgendered, and I so I asked her, I said, do you feel safe and for your daughter? And then I thought, what a stupid question. Of course she doesn't feel safe because she's a, she's a visionary. She's on the cutting edge of creating unconditional love as a reality of the universe. And then I thought, wow. So I have two friends that are on the cutting edge of making unconditional love a reality for the universe. So then I decided, well, I'm feeling great. I'm going to do a count my blessings and call my friends and count my blessings. So I called Christopher, and he was packing to go to Michigan. And as I talked to him, I realized that he he has a new kind of family. He has a daughter. The mother is in a relationship with another person. He lives at the sister's house. They share custody of the child with the grandparents. What it means is at first, you know, f from the old from the old value system of the nu nuclear family, it's like, well, how fucked up is that? However, what they're what he's done is he's out of unconditional love. He has supported the mom through her growth and brought the family closer together. And the baby gets pure love wherever it goes because it's not like the nuclear family where two parents are exhausted and worn out and no one has enough for the baby. No, everyone has enough because they're sharing the load. And that is the cutting edge of creating unconditional love as a reality of the universe. And then I thought, now, wow, I have three friends on the cutting edge of creating unconditional love as a reality of the universe. So I continued my calls, and I called uh, my friend Chandler, and I don't speak to him too often, but I know he watches my videos, and I'm thinking, well, I should talk to him more often, and I could at least get feedback about my videos. So I talked to him, and it turns out that he has a different vision. So I thanked him for his thought process because it helps me stay balanced and realize that, you know, I could, I could be off. I could be. <laughs> well, we know I'm off, but uh, yes. So, uh, but he reminded me that my sister lives in Sebring, Florida, right where the hurricane went through. So I called her up, and it turns out she slept through it. There was some trees blown over and stuff like that. It gets kind of confusing after that. I think I talked to Candace, and Candace is my friend. Uh, she, We used to go out to the casino, and we would watch imitation rock and roll of the old, you know, the old bands. And we had a long, a long time friendship, mostly phone calls, and, uh, oh, and then we would go to the college and watch the plays that I helped 
Kelly uh, Bill. And then I got to talk to Jesse, and Jesse is making me a special gift package, and we never did get to talk about what Jesse's doing to bring unconditional love into the as a reality of the universe. Jesse is like um, a man Friday, a, a go-to guy, a man you can count on. He's dependable. He's ever there, and he's trustworthy, and that's rare in the circles where he resides from time to time because in those circles, there's just like there's big-time popularity, money, power. Wherever that is, guess what? There's lots of bullshit. And um, so someone like Jesse is very much appreciated in those circles. Uh, he knows many of the Saturday night, early Saturday night live players. And right now, he's... I think they're winding down, but he's been the guy that sets up for the Blues Brothers, which is now, instead of John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd, Jim Belushi has taken the place of John Belushi and done a wonderful job, and they have a show that they put on, and Jesse's kind of like does the itinerary and sets up um, their travel and all that kind of stuff. Well, I had that storyline mixed up. I was talking to Jesse when uh, Candace called in. Before the Brian had finished the hour, I was completely exhausted and I crashed out and missed two calls. So now I'm back up and I got this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I, I love you that watch it and uh, you know who you are. So I appreciate you and uh, I'll see you down the road.